So hello and welcome to another class of ABM Ecos Sciences. This is Abhishek with you. So I hope you like my classes earlier. So let's start with the new one that is Cesis element. So Cesis element is very important aspect of molecular biology, or you can say and the aspect of central dogma. So let's uh, get into that. Cesis element stand for uh, selenocysteine insertion sequence elements. So it stands for Seleno cysteine insertion sequence elements. So why it is so important uh, from the aspect of molecular biology or central dogma, or uh, you can say in the aspect of RNA level because this cesis element is actually an RNA element, okay? So the nature of the cesis element is RNA. Now why it is so important, what characteristic it bears? So it is a almost 60 nucleotide long, 60 nucleotide long, structure okay which stays in the form of secondary stem loop structure here in structure so which stays as secondary stain loop structure so the information which you have got is the RNA element, which is uh, consists of a cyst nucleotide and secondary stem loop structure, which helps its functionality uh, to maintain its functionality. So, why is it important? Because you may have heard that some proteins contains selenocysteine as their amino acid. So, it's a very uh, newly discovered or recently discovered amino acid, which uh, most of the proteins or its crucial proteins. Or exceptional proteins bear that amino acid. So that insertion of selenocysteine amino acid into that proteins is uh, mechanistically done by the cesis elements which stays where it stays in RNA. How and where? So in case of eubacteria, so in case of eubacteria, it stays just beside just beside the UGA so mark this codon UGA codon so that stem loop structure from just behind or beside the UGA stop codon so you, you know or you have heard and you have read that UGA is a stop codon where the cell instructs that mRNA or the mRNA instructs the machinery of protein synthesis that the amino acid synthesis has been blocked and the protein should be stopped at its uh, native form. But if there is a cesis element beside this UGA codon, that time that particular UGA codon will be instructed to add or to code for selenocysteine so uga codon will be used as a codon for selenocysteine and that particular protein that was synthesizing at that particular moment inside the cell will be incorporated selenocysteine as a component from other the or within the other family of amino acids so this is the scenario of cesis element so i will show you a diagram suppose suppose it is a uh, mRNA which uh, contains UGA this is the structure and here you will see maybe this kind of structure that is the cesis element. You can say this is the cesis element, or this is the cesis element which is just 
deciding, deciding just inside the UGA codon, which generally codes for stop, stop codon. Okay. Now, after synthesizing up to this one, that machinery with the help of the stasis element will instruct the UGA to code for stop or sereno system. So this small diagram will I think will help you in understanding the serenosis role of serenosis system in case of eubacteria where it presents just beside the UJ. So why it presents in case of eukaryotes or RKE bacteria. So in case of eukaryotes, in case of eukaryotes, it presents in three prime UTR of mRNA. Whereas in case of RK bacteria, RK resides in the five prime UTR of mRNA. So you can see the difference of the levels of organization in this element. Now there are some special characteristics of this stasis element which help the uh, machinery or total process to be uh, confined in a fully protective manner. That is, there is you can see up there uh, there is a proof that that thing is consists of non-canonical non-canonical AG non-canonical AG base pairs. So as you can see that non-canonical means that normal uh, base pairings which you would see uh, in case of other nucleotides like uh, A to T, G to C, here you will be not seeing. So here the bonding in case of A and G there will be some kind of uh, modification or binding modifications you can see that for that at particular position of the nucleotide of different nucleotides is very very essential to form the perfect secondary stem loop structure or hairpin structure of the cesis element and to function it or to order the UGA stroke codon uh, to form or to synthesize for or to code for serenocysteine element. So uh, this few of the characteristics and the uh, structural modifications with specific base pairs, uh, in a, you can say the oval base pairing that is not specific, or you can say some of the exceptional base pairing within the nucleotides form this secondary structure in a highly specific manner to code for the uh, selenocysteine amino acid in the particular protein. So several viruses are also reported, not only uh, RK bacteria, U bacteria, or animals or so the plants and viruses are also reported to contain this cesis element and there are also reports of several proteins which contain cesis as their amino acid. So if you like my classes, give a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe my channel because these things stimulate me to take futuristic classes for you guys. So thank you and be with me.